Твою мать, сука, ну I am playing on the highest difficulty there is, so... Well, thank you! Какие же это черные? Обычная туннельная нечисть. Даже когда ты не видишь черных вокруг, они все равно рядом. Ты о них думаешь, ты их боишься. Страх их оружие. Прочие туннельные гады бегут от них, как крысы. Черные не просто мутанты. Это Homo Novus, следующая ступень эволюции. Выживает сильнейший, знаешь? Так вот это не про нас. Да что с тобой случилось? Ты как скотина, которую ведут на бойню. А я буду цепляться за жизнь до последнего. Понял? А когда отправлюсь в ад, прихожу Даже душу мы уничтожен. Расскажешь ему, что случилось со мной и что происходит в ваших туннелях. Покажи мельнику вот это, чтобы он поверил, что ты от меня. Я надеюсь на тебя, Артем. Не подведи. Если мы хотим выжить, мы должны уничтожить эту угрозу. Любой ценой уничтожить. Понял? Хантер не вернулся. Сбежать с ВДНХ мне было непросто, но я ведь дал ему слово. На следующий день к Рижской уходил караван. Караванщик набирал охранников, и я завербовался. Наконец-то! Ты, блин, в своем обычном темпе, да? Ладно, хватай шматьево оружейное и на платформу. Они уже заждались. Я буду там и смотри, ничего не забудь. Вот стоц, перевертоться, бабушка, здорово! Вот стоц, перевертоться, куча нет комплат! Вот стоц, перевертоться, и мечтать снова! Вот стоц, бабок. The task of defending our home station from Dark One's enemies, horrifying, mysterious and unbeatable, is becoming the sole focus of all our efforts. We've all but forgotten about our old enemies, the no Nozzleys and the Watchmen, and if not for Hunter, these beasts would have been unleashed on our hospital. I cringe to think of a carnage that would have ensued should Hunter have arrived here a mere hour too late.
Извини, Артем, тут пока закрыто. Только дозорные могут пройти. Entrance is closed. Прекрати, парень, пока не могу тебя пропустить. Где ты вообще эту запись Where did you get this record from? Заплатить хреновую тучу патронов. I, I should have paid a shit ton for a while. Точно не жалеешь, что купил ее. Ты на... Are you not concerned that you have to pay so much for it? It's like that, come on. The two is nice. I don't know. Something you do not get in this post-apocalyptic world. So I would say, yes. It is definitely 100% worth 100 army bullets. Oh, here we got a domestic conflict. Pretty much telling this guy that he is a loser and just an idiot. What did he get to say? He says that. He says that his mother doesn't. Can I? Can I hear her? So she should shut the fuck up. That's what he pretty much said. Just so much, I don't know, only just stations, like, yes, they're just kind of um, showcases of a life, but at the same time, because they're showcases of life, at least you get an idea of what people, just civilians, who are not a main part of a story, live through, unlike in some games where it's just like, I got the gun, I'm a GI, I gotta fuck shit up, no, 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 this game is, shows the struggle of people, which I love. No, а теперь давай нарисуем что-нибудь другое. Ну, например, эм, давай нарисуем домик, в котором ты хочешь жить с папой и мамой. А домик большой? So he told her, а когда вернется мама, мы ей покажем твой рисунок, и она обратится. Draw, uh, скажет, что ты молодец. Хорошо, я нарисую. Папа, а когда мама уже And he asked her, asked him, is, is the house big? When the mom's gonna come back? And the father's reply is, pretty soon. She will come back very soon. I really wish your mother saw how much you grew up. So, pretty much he's too much afraid to tell his son that the mother is dead. And it's like this Eastern European kind of depressing feel to the game which is just makes it so much connective to other players because just like in some cases just like give you background but here it just shows you the story of people which I just love and also Balaika now all we need is a bear but no like honestly the game is just beautiful Черт, присница же такое опять снила что я на поверхность попала Слушай, хорош уже рассказывать мне эти кошмары. У меня своих хватает. В ближайшие 50 лет нам не грозит подняться наверх. Так что спи спокойно, дорогой товарищ. So, this guy wakes up from a nightmare. Of, the nightmare is that he, wo uh, he was walking around outside. And this guy replies is that... Don't worry. In the next 50 years, we won't be able to come up on the surface, so... You can sleep nice and quiet. Kind of a depressing humor, I guess you can say like that. So, I'm not gonna say anything. Because... So she's like, oh my god, this guy, he tells me, if my wife could cook so well, if I did not have a wife, and you cook so well, I wish you were my wife. She's, and she's like, well, what is it, you know, your wife cooks so well? And he's like, well, honestly, I don't really have a wife. And uh, her friend tells her, well, get on it! So, even though throughout this whole depressing thing where people just eat on pigs and mushrooms, still find some kind of happiness. That's her friend right there. <laughs> and, knock knock. Nobody's home, I guess. 
Невозможно просто. И люди грязные, вруны, лицемеры, предатели сплошные. Ты прав, парень, везде грязь. Да и от тебя подванивает. So this guy says, everything is dirty. People are liars, thieves, killers, just dirt everywhere. He's like, that's true, man. Everyone's dirty. But I can smell some dirt on you, too. Посмотри-ка, кто тут такой чистюля. Под ноги смотришь, наследил кто-то. Убирать кто будет. Вот я в тебя харе в грязь домакнула. And that's a stereotype of a cleaning lady who tells you, Oh, look at you, walking through, uh, clean, just something I just cleaned up through, you know, well, you know my thing, like, oh, I, I would just stick your face in dirt. <laughs> now, some stations, they join together to have better connections, to not fight. And in case they do get into conflict, they have more people to fight. So, like, coalitions. And right now, we're at the station, you know, at the time, we're with the NHA. And the next two stations underneath it, if you check out our metro system, are trying to create a, this coalition. Not not only military-wise, but also economic-wise, because with the NHA is not only, well, exhibition station, sorry is a station uh, which is not only has mushrooms, pigs, which almost every station now has, but also they have like this tea, and the tea is made out of mushrooms, but people enjoy it because, come on, it's just a nice liquid to drink, there's no coffee, and there's no real tea, so it's kind of a replacement which makes, which is very famous throughout the metro system. All right, I can tell a story away from him. Okay, so the story is this. And the story is this. So, when the war started, which is approximately in 2012, the nukes pretty much launched right away. So, he's telling about the story when he was a radio operator, and he was in the, in the first years of war, he can still be in connection with the submarines of Russian fleet because the Russian submarines can be operational for a year or two without coming up to the surface. And the sailors could not believe that the world is pretty much over. So some people, so he heard some admirals and captains just cry. And some would just say, screw it, and just bombard the United States with nukes. Even though it did not matter, but because they felt like it was just some, some kind of revenge, we should do it. So, pretty much after he, they were down with that, he was still in contact with them for a long while, and then he lost contact with them. That is it. But, yeah. Without a good machine gun, there is no soldier. Armory. Yes. Автомат калибра 5.45. Сделано на Кузнецком мосту. Стреляет криво, перегревается в 2 секунды. Поэтому называется ублюдком. Стреляй короткими очередями и патронов не забудь набрать. Универсальная зарядка для фонаря. Батареи заряжать. Ну и противогаз. Надевай везде, где высокая радиация. Или на поверхности, если тебя туда, ну, не дай бог, 